Bladed Articles. Hello and welcome to Bladed Articles. Today for you guys I have got an Ontario Knife Company knife and this to be more precise is the Rat 1. And just a brief overview of the box. As you can see it's quite battered, that is because I purchased it in part of a bundle. I paid £30 for this particular knife though, in part of that bundle. Uh, they are available on Heine Hens for £41.95 brand new however, and that is in the Oz 8 steel version. If you wanted a better steel, you are looking at a D2 version and that is coming in at £55 or around that mark anyway depending on the scale that you go for uh, then it's around about that mark I, I, I did have a look um, but I can't remember exactly sorry about that so that was an absolutely piss poor flick let's try that again let's try a spidey flick let's go yeah there we go that's much better here we have the rat one and like I said this is the Oz 8 version in the FRN scales and in black with the black coating so i will just remove these so i'm pretty sure you don't get any paperwork with this because you have the warranty information on the back there even though it is covered by a sticker maybe that was intentional i don't know anyway enough of the box and the baggie here is the rat so like i said before this is coming in frn black uh, scales and it has done me well yeah it however the only small issue I've got is that it does seem to be I don't know if you can see down there it does seem to be wearing rather quickly uh, I did purchase this brand new in box and when I got it that there was a little bit but it was only up here and Honestly, this steel was absolutely, well, the edge on the steel was absolutely impeccable and it was shaving sharp. I can guarantee that. So it was brand new in box, possibly, you know, carried around the house. So I, I, maybe, maybe not even used. Uh, I guess you can't really call it brand new in box if it's been used, I suppose. So don't know why I'm going on about that. Anyway, on to the next point, on to the next point. That is going, uh, so you know about the scales. You've got the lanyard hole here, and that is enough for some paracord. I have tested that. It is only enough for one piece of paracord coming through, I'm afraid. Uh, I mean, you could probably double it up, but it'd be a nice tight fit in that hole. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, on to the uh, jimping. You get a little bit down here on the liner lock to obviously assist with you know closing and all that jazz and then you've got a little bit up the top here for the thumb ramp which actually does really quite well if I'm honest and the ergos on this are absolutely amazing for my hand type anyway if you've got larger hands than mine mine are quite small I must admit uh, but if you've got some gorilla mitts you know or slightly bigger hands then it might not fit quite well but my hands it fits absolutely pucker really really nice in there and you can choke up on the uh, thumb ramp that's absolutely perfect um, and also you know if you're doing a bit of fine dining you can uh, yeah it, it works really well the ergos on this and no hot spots on that pocket clip it's yeah it's really well designed for the ergos in fact so on to the carry style and as you can see at this minute we are on tip up right-handed carry however you do have four options depending on what you really fancy all the options in the world so you can have it here for the tip up uh, uh, no tip down right-handed carry there we go and also you can have it for the lefties as well which is really awesome nice nice and designed however i mean it does kind of affect the aesthetics but i'm not bothered by that that that's that's absolutely fine for me on to the steel and like i said this is oz 8 so it's not the greatest that i have in in my knife collection however it does the job for sure although i have noticed this getting blunt day by day and i can't i'm almost sort of really wanting that d2 but at the same time 
this this does work i'm sort of on the fence about whether i should just go out and buy a d2 version even though i have the oz8 version because it it works really well and this was shaving sharp like i said from the box and i've been through what have we got cardboard uh tape obviously those two main factors so much cardboard so much tape we've had uh, paracord rope foam loads and loads of foam this week we've had some carpet obviously the usual small gauge cable uh, some sheathing so been through rather a lot and the coating is it is showing its signs of use i don't quite know if i can show you the air there we go so it is showing signs of use and I'm not entirely sure exactly how long this coating will last because bearing in mind this has been used and abused for one week and it is starting to show uh, also on the pocket clip there as well all across wheel all across the edge down there it is starting to chip and wear I, I know for a fact I did catch this on a metal case however I didn't think I'd done all of that so it has been removing itself so please do bear that in mind if you get a coated version of this it does seem to come off rather easily and on to the centering and lock so as you can see this is a liner lock and that means that you can't carry this in the uk obviously without a valid reason please check your local knife laws and don't be an idiot frankly if i'm honest and the centering I'm pretty sure is bang on let's have a little look see if we can get a good view there we go so that is looking absolutely smack dab maybe a smidge to the right maybe a smidge to the right but as far as it's going it is not rubbing on either side there so that is not a problem for me and it hasn't been catching like I said I haven't had to adjust it it has been no problem so onto the length now I grab the tip measure and for a cutting edge we are looking at I would call 8.2 centimeters on the cutting edge and then for the overall length we are going for ooh, 20 21.6 21.7 on the open length and on the closed formation uh, we'll go that way that'll probably be easier we are looking at oh, i'll say easier of course it won't be easier you're wobbling it you're plumb so we are looking at 10 11 12 point 12.2 12 12.3 12 maybe actually 12.4 i'll go for 12.4 centimeters on the closed formation and let's have a little look at the screw size now so i have already had a look at this i was going to take it apart but i haven't yet so you've got one two three four five on the show side and then you've got obviously your one two three four five plus the three on the back for the pocket clip so we'll start on the back and that is a nice and snug fit and then we find the hole that's what she said three four five and then the pocket clip yes nice and snug that one will stick in nice and snug and the third one nice and snug so let's go around to this side just double check because we have had it if you do watch my videos regularly we have had it on one knife where the sizes they were not the same even though I'm pretty sure they were meant to be the same. So as you can see there, we've got the T6 for all of the small screws, including the pocket clip. And I think it was this one for the pivot, I'm pretty sure. So nice and snug in there. And then just on this side here as well, nice and snug. So that is coming in at a T10 there we go so let's go on to the hair pop now 
and uh, then we'll have actually let's just have a look quick look at the logos while we're here we've got the Ontario knife the model one Oz 8 and then uh, Taiwan on the back there and then the their logo Ontario knife co on the pocket clip as well and we will go for a hair pop see if we can uh, catch any hairs probably not I've got to go right around the back to get any sort of hair because yeah we we, we kind of uh, pop quite a few hairs on this channel and oh look I'm taking off all the skin oh god right let's just restart let's restart have we got any around here look this over there yeah we've got some over there haven't we there we go let's give this a little go no no oh so it is just taking my skin and no hairs at all so as i suspected this does need a sharpen um I, i'm not too bothered about that if i'm honest because i i knew this was going to like i said i knew it was going to need a sharpen after a week because i've had and it was a steel blade before and that was exactly the same it's just not quite up to scratch for a week's worth i would probably like to have sharpened this probably about three days ago probably about halfway through the week to keep it really nice um but with that d2 one the d2 version if i were to get that i think that would easily be fine in a week's worth of use so let's just have a quick size comparison and move all of my skin and crud out of the way so you can actually see shit so first up we've got the elementum let's just show that as you can see it is dwarfed and then I thought we'd go for my biggest folder that I seem to own, which is the 609, the Wii 609, and there we go. So as you can see, it is quite close to the 609, even in terms of blade length as well. It is pretty darn close, not too far off, even on the scales as well. But when it comes to the Elementum, it is a rather a big boy compared to the Elementum. So just for funsies as well, we've got a squid just so you can see the dwarfism going on here et voila so there we go that is the rat one so i am honestly really impressed with this the ergos is fantastic and i yeah if you can get a d2 version of this i would recommend getting one just for a beta just for you know if you can use it at work use it around the house for for that price i think i think it's worth getting it 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 punches a little bit above its weight in terms of uh build and ergos it's it just feel you don't feel unhappy buying one of these is what i'm trying to say especially if you go for the d2 version it i think that would be worth it in the d2 if i'm being totally honest anyway thank you very much for watching if you did like my content please consider subscribing and I will see you on the next one. Ta-ta.